As you are thinking of becoming a goalkeeper coach, what do you know about the qualifications needed for this job? Um, so I know that you need your UEFA B coaching licence and your goalkeeping B licence, which are two licences I'll be working towards once I finish uni or during uni, um, which you can apply online and then you attend the coaching lessons and then you progress through and you get your licence. Uh, I'm currently thinking about studying um, exercise and fitness at Barnsley University. Um, and then obviously I also have my valid driver's licence and the F you need you also need the FA Youth modules one, two and three which I can collaborate with my university work. What knowledge and key skills do you believe are required for this job? I believe that I should have good communication to be able to interact with whoever it is that I'm coaching because it could be a variety of ages. Um, I also need good computer literacy uh, and knowledge of the player's performance pathway so that I need to suit how how they progress and what, what sessions they have that help them progress in their um, technical ability and tactical ability and physical ability. Um, and then you need performance management application and then obviously written and oral skills just to apply it to your, to your learners for your students. As an individual, what traits do you believe are suited to this job in order to be successful? So in order to be like a good goalkeeping coach, I think I believe you need to be confident. I think that's a main asset to being a good goalkeeping coach. Because if you're not confident, they're not going to be as open and unwel like you're not going to seem like a welcoming person to the to the uh, trainee. So it's good that you're confident and they know that they can speak to you about anything and put in any suggestions that they may have where they feel like they need to improve. Um, it's also important that you're a team player. Um, Highly approachable, like I said, and friendly, and then organised, and um, just have a general professional appearance. Uh, so if we look to contact referees, what are some of the key words they would use to describe you as a person? Um, I would say that I'm quite enthusiastic as an individual, as I'm a footballer myself, I'm confident. I'm used to being a leader in a team. Um, I'm also smart, well presented and very organised. How much experience do you have personally with football? Um, so since the young age of four years old I played football, starting off with a boys team first originally. Um, I was a goalkeeper where I then progressed into the Basel ladies team at the under 10s age where I then progressed to be a defender at eight years old. And then that meant that I was playing for that club for the for the year above my actual age, because um, I was in the under 10s at 8, and continued to do so until the under 14s, which in total I've played, I played a ten, for 10 years at Barnsley Ladies um, for both development and first team. And then from last year in August, I studied in America for five months and played football for Charlotte United.